Hey guys, I hope you all had a really good New Year's, and we're basically here to talk about Bleach in 2016, because New Year, New Year of manga, and Bleach is probably gonna end in 2016, if not early 2017 into 2017, you know, like, the series is in its final arc, final battle with Yuha and everybody, so I kinda wanted to make a discussion, especially since there is no chapter this week, about the things I want to see in Bleach 2016, because there are a lot of things that, you know, I that have not been shown in regards to, like, plot points, Bankai's, and such and so forth that we still need to see or want to see so here are the things that i want to see top five and let's do this number five unknown bankais so kubo's been pretty good on this lately especially the last couple chapters with kyoraku and uh, the fight with pernida with the new bankai there i mean there's bankais that we just haven't seen you know there's urahara there's shuhei there's aizen if he even has one uh, Kira, maybe now since he's fighting Lele's, I mean, like, you know, he has sticks in his chest, so maybe he got an upgrade with his Bankai, I don't know, but I especially want to see, basically, these two people, Urahara and Aizen, Aizen's Bankai, so I'm gonna talk about these two, because Urahara, he went to the Soul Palace, he's there right now, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see his Bankai, like, out of all these Bankais, Urahara's is the most likely gonna happen because it's been foreshadows it's been mentioned by kubo and when he mentioned something early in the series he, it's gonna show up later there's just so many examples of that throughout the manga and so he's gonna do that uh, i mean urahara i mean i'm assuming he's gonna be fighting gerard possibly i would love to see an urahara fight against Hashwalt. like i think that they're two of the coolest characters in the series and just kind of seeing like a duke between them because urahara like he's just so hyped to be very strong you know and, like especially very smart i mean like he, he i mean either way I'm looking forward to I, to those Bankais. Hopefully, we'll see Urahara's. I mean, Aizen's. I can't even imagine what that's going to be. That would just be like game over. <laughs> like on the manga screw on the manga panel, it'll just be like game over after Aizen releases his Bankai. Like basically, that would probably be the most overpowered ability. So I don't I don't think he really needs a Bankai, but he is in this final arc, so he is going to probably do something. But he'll just do his Hado or you know or his fragger technique or something but we're gonna get on to the next point number four ichigo has been barely shown this year i mean last time we really saw him was with ask and he just left to go to the main palace so hopefully we're gonna see there a, a battle between him and uryu you know yuha hashwalt you know any of those people and Ichigo, like, the last real new ability we saw of him was the Getsuga Juji Show, which was, albeit, a new ability, and different colors, which was pretty cool, and it was a double just Getsuga Tensho, but I want to see more of his new Bankai, his new, you know, Zanpaktos have to offer, because he is now dual, ba uh, dual Zanpaktos, his Bankai is bound to be different now, like, uh, definitely, like, I'd like to see if it becomes one sword, or maybe it's, you know, two swords, like, you know, I'd just like to see what happens there, I want to see what I want to see him and Uryu's shit gets, get resolved because I feel like that's going to be one of the coolest parts of the end of this arc is Uryu versus Ichigo because I don't think we've gotten like a full power clash between them and I know it's going to be Uryu standing in the way of Ichigo before Yuha unless Uryu actually is only trying to kill Yuha which you know that's just a contention point all on its own so we're going to have to you know <laughs> keep reading to find out. Number 3 Uryu's intentions what does he want to do because he, we never found out why he joined the stern ritter and he tried to kill ichigo at the soul palace from what i understand be, with the arrow because we were kind of left hanging for a chapter to see you know when he actually had the arrow at ichigo if he ex if he actually you know intended to miss but we were shown in the flashback that he tried to sh he the arrow was going for the kill so it's just kind of like Uryu's on his own thing, but he was like good at the beginning of this arc, I thought. And I think it has a lot to do with Ryukin, because why haven't we seen Ryukin? Why is the reason that Kubo seemingly forgot about Ryukin, but we saw him in one panel, and that was before the flashback with Chigo's uh, parents. And he was in his office just looking off like just thinking or something and you know i honestly think he's probably with the sterner or 
you know, forming something against the Stern Rare with Ichigo's dad, possibly, because, you know, Kubo, you know, manipulated it, so we, very, we have not heard anything about him. So, I, there has to be something there with Uriyu, and we're going to find that out in the Soul Palace, obviously. I want to see if Uriyu has a Volt Standing now, that would be cool as fuck. Fuck, like, I would just, I want to see his new abilities, because now he's, he's apparently an A, you know, so he's on the level of Yuha. I'm wondering if Yuha is just kind of manipulating him, kind of brainwashing him, to, because he can see into the future, so he'll see Uryu's betrayal, or maybe he'll actually, Uryu will become the evil person, I don't know, like, they could go a Star Wars route with this, honestly. Number 2! thousand year war flashback arc you know i don't know if this is actually gonna happen but it's been kind of implied there is a lot of things this kind of ties into yuha's backstory because i want to know why yuha why he started the war this basic crusade against the shinigami i want to see the gotei 13 back a thousand years ago i want to see yamamoto full power thousand years ago shit like that i want to see unahana's bankai possibly and get some goddamn explanation on that shit whatever the hell that was when we read it you know i want to see other characters i want to see the og 13 you know like other people that we didn't know was in the og 13 that we find out were there maybe kid Kiraku, you know a kid um ukitake maybe ukitake bankai you know because I don't think we're going to see Ukitake do anything, so that's why I didn't put him down with the Bankais that I wanted to see, because he's honestly definitely not releasing his Bankai anytime soon right now, because he's kind of like R.I.P. I just want to see mainly the Yuha backstory, you know, like, why is he this powerful, he, like, how is he the Soul King's son, but which is going to lead into my next point, but I'm going to hold off for a second, and, like, how he like with the stern rare and these powers like this guy like there's so much more than meets the eye with yuha how he can i mean like with the future shit like you know how to defeat him because like at this point like how the fuck is ichigo gonna defeat him because you know it's ichigo gonna be against yuha that's how it's gonna be that's how it's always been but how the fuck is he gonna beat him like i, I really hope that like i'm kind of like, really getting senses of, like, a deus ex machina coming up, because that's what happened with Kiraku, that's what happened with Aizen against Ichigo. Kubo, please do not end the fucking series with a deus ex machina. Like, if you ruin the series at the end, like, it'll be such a bad taste. Like, this arc has been fantastic so far, but it has, has, it, has its lows with typical Kubo, you know, shit. So, like, I'm just hoping that he ends it off well with a, a, a plausible way to defeat Yuha, because he's just like he has Yamamoto's Bankai, he has all these other abilities, probably more abilities that we don't even fucking know. He has that Saint Altar shit, you know. Number one Sulking explanation. So, we basically have found out a lot more this year about the Soul King how there are the right arm, the left arm with Parnida and Ukitake's god being inside of him, the Mimi Hage. And then we found out very recently that Gerard is now the heart of the Soul King. So, I don't even know at this point if there are other parts of the Soul King, such as legs, or, you know, a fucking, you know, testicles of the Soul King, or the kidneys of the Soul King, you know? If there are other, you know, there if there's a part for all of its um, anatomy. But, like, I want to know how, how he even got into that glass, what was it before. It's kind of, like, implied that the Soul King can be made into that status. So that's probably a Shinigami before that, maybe from the Thousand Years Ago. Maybe that was the whole entire thing with the Thousand Year Blood War arc. Like, a thousand years ago, they, you know, that maybe the Quincy's killed the old Soul King. And then that's the new Soul King or something like that. I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to think of some shit that, you know, Kubo might put into the story at that point. But, you know... I want to know how it relates with Yuha. I want to know if it's in relation with Ichigo. I want to know with this god form shit that we've been seeing with Lile and Aizen. How these gods, like, they keep transforming and shit when they keep saying they're gods. Like, there's an obvious, like like there is a standard for gods i guess in that game or in, in the universe of bleach if that makes sense because you know aizen uh ascended or whatever and he kept transforming kind of like lily 
and I'm wondering how in if that's in relation to the Soul King or whatever, if they became on the level of the Soul King, you know, like how Yuhai even became the Soul King now, and what we're going to do from now on, like how we're going to instill a new Soul King, if someone we know is going to be the new Soul King, maybe we'll make Ukitake the Soul King again permanent. So, I mean, those were the five things I really want to see in the Thousand War Blood Arc. I mean, I have honorable mentions right here, just as kind of a joke. But Rimjo and Nal's Segunda Etapa, if those exist, you know, like kind of implied with Grimjo he, when he attacked Askin that he can have his, that he had his released uh, attack while he swiped him out. It kind of looked like his released attack, so maybe he's, you know, trained a lot. Well, he's definitely trained a lot more, but I don't know if he's, really, you know, reached Segunda Etapa, including with Nell, you know, but I don't know if we're going to see much from them in the remainder of the series. And then a scene with Chad actually doing something useful. I mean, I don't think we're going to get that either. And the Fullburners, or whatever the fuck they might be, because they're probably just going to show up at the end to, like, as an escape party, you know? They're, they're going to be the escape party from the Soul Palace, I bet, like, to get them back. Like, you know, Kukaku's probably, like, thought of something for that. But either way, thank you for watching this list. I'm going to have chapter out, live reaction, and review out for the next week's Bleach chapter, maybe even the One Piece chapter if it's good. But either way, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a good day, and please let me know what are you guys looking forward to in Bleach in 2016, and see you guys later.